Hi everyone, it's me Lee with Victorian Dreams by Lee. How are you? And I have a special guest with me tonight. It is Sandra Blake. Say hi, hon. Hi. So she is on actually Facebook Live where we can see each other. She won't be able to see what I'm working on, but you know how I do it. I'll show her what's going on. And Sandra, you want to tell them you have two YouTube channels, don't you? I do. I have two. Uh, one is Sandra's Beaded Path, and the other one is uh, Mia Bella Candles for me. So do you make the candles or do you buy them? Mm -hmm. No, it's um, it's a company kind of like Pampered Chef type thing. Oh, I see. Uh, where they make the candles and I'm a distributor. Oh, I didn't know that. I love candles. Yeah. I'll have to definitely check that out. I'm sorry. I didn't even know that, hun. And then the Beaded Path. I'm sure it's about beads, but I've seen you do some other crafts lately that has nothing to do with beading. <laughs> nothing to do with beading, yeah. Um, I have, it's a lot of beaded jewelry, uh, but I have expanded into tatting. Um, and I've been learning other new crafts that I'm hoping to be able to incorporate beads into. Yeah. Um, so, I, I, yeah, I've just, I've kind of been on a, a learning spree right now. I love that tatting. I watched your video and I'm thinking, you know what, um, I don't know if I can get into that with my eyes as bad as they're getting. Um, but uh, I'll just make an order and pay you. <laughs> so, because I don't know if I'll, <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't even know if I could get into that. Okay, guys, guess what? It's Glue Gun Chronicles time. Did I tell you that? Yep, it's Glue Gun Chronicles time. That means it's a tutorial. And I'm going to show you the tutorial that I showed, I think, three or four weeks ago. How long has it been? Do you know about... Um, it? It's been a while. It sounds about right, yeah. Yeah, it's the... Um, i got to write this down to remember. Loaded envelope, but it's a fabric loaded envelope. So Charlie is turned on. So, um, yeah, let's get started. And we'll chit-chat as I'm crafting. So let's get started, guys. Let me show you the two that I've made, and then I'll show you how uh, how to make it. Um, so here we go. Don't laugh at my projects, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm talking about this right here. This is a hot mess. It's not even finished, but it's in the envelope. <laughs> it's on a pencil. It looks like a lollipop. I still need to do the crinkled back and forth rosette. And, and I just haven't. So yeah. this is what we're going to do. Um, this is all about dolls. So I stuck little doll pieces in here. My mom gave me like 50 of these. And I'm going to scan them and I'll put them in the group. All my links are down below. So let me make sure y'all y'all can see me. Let me scoot you over just to here. And um, yeah, there we go, guys. But I'm going to, I'll put these, um, these are vintage. Someone asked my mom, does she own mm -hmm. a store? But no, my mom's 75 and she's been shopping and saving. So, um, well. but actually she lost most of her stuff in the Matthew uh, hurricane. So poor thing, but I'll send her mm -hmm. some more stuff. Um, this is a picture of my husband's grandmother. She just passed away last year and she was two years old there. So this picture is 90 four years old and so that was nice to use I wasn't planning on it and then a doll that my mom had so yeah this is the loaded envelope for this one let me show you the next one it's so different than this one isn't it Sandra oh yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, I love old photos like that well I'm gonna scan them scan them all look how many in this right here look how thick mm -hmm. see how thick oh this is yeah. and so I'm gonna scan them and I'll put them in the group and my glue gun chronicles group oh, okay cool so anyway there's one guys let me put this off to the side and then here's my second one i made um because i ended up using a melissa francis hanger on this i'll show you so this is uh a little doll this is the loaded stuff i just grabbed this is what i get when i go to the expos melissa francis elements for a dollar so you can't go wrong with that um, I always do want to scrap. I've been shopping from them for about five years in the expos. I probably spend 200 at their booth each time. So mm -hmm. 
And then there's something on the back. This one, guys, this is from Melissa Francis. You get these at $2 at the Expos. I'm lucky enough to live in Dallas. Um, so this one, look, this is the one we're going to make tonight. And it's a little dress, see? And um, here's a pocket here. Here's a pocket in here. And then there's a second pocket in here. I see glue strings. Then there's a pocket on the hiney. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, it's so cute. And guess what? This cost, um, 50 cent for the base because I'm using a placemat cut in half and a template. And so I'll put this template in my group too. So here's my template. Oh, just okay. off of Manila folder. Cool. So anyway, this is what we're making, guys. So um, it's a little different than the other one, and I love the shape. Here's what it is in the back, and here's what it is with the flowers in the front. I didn't put them in the back because I wanted to show you the difference if you like them or if you don't like them. It's so adorable. So okay, let's move all this out of the way and get started. So. We're going to make um, my guest do all the talking and keep us entertained. <laughs> no. Wait, what? No. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> what did you do for Valentine's? Uh, well, for Valentine's Day, I ended up going to the ER because uh, the night before I fell off of one of my stairs. Oh, that's so and, sad. Uh, yeah, and... Well, I didn't know if I broke it or sprained it, and it turned out I had only sprained it. But, um, yeah, so I spent about an hour, which I was surprised that I was in and out of the ER in an hour. Wow, that's really fast. Okay, guys, you realize that I took a placemat from the dollar store and um, cut it in half. So this is costing 50 cent and you go find an old t-shirt and cover it up with it or a favorite um, nightgown piece of material or your husband's shirt or something. So you don't have to spend a lot. Okay, keep going you, if you want to talk. So what we do oh. is, uh, okay. so just um, follow along guys as we chit chat. So yeah, so you know, after that, you know, we got home and um, hubby made uh, a late, Valentine's lunch, early dinner for me, and um, it was an Italian dish. Um, ziti. Oh, baked ziti! I love baked ziti. Baked ziti, yes, that was it. Um, so yeah, uh, that turned out really good, and that was about it for my Valentine's Day. Hey, that's not so bad though. And hey, the good news is you didn't have anything broken. Okay, guys. So um, I'm learning from experience here. Um, you see how I folded it in half to see where the middle is to get here. And the reason why I cut it in half like this is I like this right here. It looks like a collar on a dress. So see this? And then on the other one, let me grab it. I didn't even show you the main part of this one. I used a sleeve of a wedding dress and all. So let me show you the whole thing. You don't need to see the goodies inside. Your goodies are going to be different than mine. But see, and then there's a pocket. So let's just get started on how to do it. And if you follow along, I don't think I need to tell you word for word how to do it. Um, so if we're talking, I don't think it's going to be a problem. So anyway, I'm taking this little bit of trim. And I'm going to make a pocket in here. And I'm using a cream trim tonight only because... Um, I know my color base that I'm going to make. On the other two, they were white, but this time it's going to be cream. So if I do that and I fold it back to the center, if I fold it back to the center, I'm going to see where the middle is. And I'm doing all this before I even cut the shape. Okay? There's a method to my madness, but you may see a whole nother way to do it, and I'm glad that you're just here and um, I'm giving you inspiration or an idea and you can do your own thing because we all have our own ideas. Okay. All right, 
let me glue this. And I do have Charlie turned on. This is actually a pretty quick, easy project. And I only did it on the three sides um, so that it's a pocket. See how we made a separate pocket? Then we're going to have two pockets. That's all I'm doing. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to fold this over. I fold it over like this. And I like that it looks like a collar. Mm -hmm. And I folded it over like this. See, I wish that you could see it and, and it'd be easier. I don't, we're gonna, I'm going to have to figure out this, this type of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I had to have help when I when I did the one live video that I well I've done two now, but um, before my first one I had to get help. Yeah, so I have I'll, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to ask somebody Karen, Robin, yeah. somebody to help me. So I'm gonna actually use these. I get six of them for a dollar fifty at the expo. The expo's coming up. March 29th and April 1st in Dallas and I'll be there can't wait because that's when I really find oh, I can't wait to find that graphic 45 paper that they have I hope it's going to be there okay guys so see how I I'm holding it in place and I'm just going to glue it right now even though I'm going to cut I'm just going to glue my base down down below so that um and you know when I cut into that it had the opening of the layer so let's just go ahead and close all the okay guys we're back we're back I have my phone plugged in because the battery is going dead so let's hope that this works so let's take my template and this is the perfect size template for half of this I had already had the template so it worked out nice and I, anything I order or use, I have a template and I use manila folder. So let's cut this. Is there an ambulance? No, that was a motorcycle going by. Wow, my speaker I just got for Christmas. My husband finally hooked it up tonight. One button, uh, wireless, Bluetooth. I'm like, I, well, my son came over and helped us. I didn't know it was that easy to do. <laughs> so that works really nice. So I'm going to cut this around. So is your foot doing any better? How long do you think you're going to be um, um, laid up? I, I hope not long because it, it's no fun just sitting here. Oh. Um, yeah, so guys, do you know how bad she's hurt? Her husband went inside Daiso and she couldn't go. And she sat in the car or we're at the, I you're at the, the bar. Yep. The, that that's pain. That's pain. Not to go into Daiso and get some goodies. Yeah. I was, I was not happy. <sighs> How far away is your Daiso that maybe you can go back one day? Um, well, um, I'm down there about every, every other week, um, for doctor's appointments. So, I mean, I'll be down there again in two weeks. Yeah. And hopefully by then I'll be able to walk a little better. Did you see how many Daiso projects? You might not because um, we've only known each other, what, four four months? If that. Maybe not even that if long. That, yeah. And But I have been doing Daiso for over a year now of all their products and mm -hmm. altering them and all. So um, when you have a chance, go back and look. And... I, I sub to everybody that subs to me, and I try to watch everyone something. Mm -hmm. And then I have some favorites that I really learn from. But um, I don't ever go back and look. And I know that's bad, but I'm trying to stay current. Mm -hmm. So it's hard. It's hard, yeah. And uh, I, I get so wrapped up with, you know, with the group and, you know, with everybody's channels. And it's like, if I just sit and do that, I, I don't get anything done around the house. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and I own a business. I You know, we own a land survey business, and mm -hmm. and so I do that. And then having your own group, that's a little bit of work. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Okay, guys, here's the trash, and I'll just chunk that. But you're asking me why didn't I trace this? And I do have a pin that I got from Walmart that you can write right on fabric. Well, I used it, then I hot glued right over it, so it permanently set. So this time, instead of, you can, in this one, um, that's why I co covered it with material. I wasn't going to, but it had that green trim. But then again, look how cute this is. So, you know, mm -hmm. we'll work it. So, um, let's move our template and see. Um, let's keep that together so that our pieces don't move around. And let's start gluing all. Let me show you. This is what it looks like. And now we're just going to glue. Glue. We're just going to glue okay. and our pockets are already in place and some of this see some of this is already glued down so see the layers of that um, placemat um, the thing about a fine tip gun here is it comes out so little and so fine that you're not using much and it doesn't get uh, bumpy and a whole bunch and a ridge and and everything so um, if you're gonna buy a glue gun get the fine tip so um, Hobby Lobby sells them and then if you use the 40% off there's only it's only like uh, 753 or something so that's close and I'm mm. trying to rush because that darn thing went off already and it might have only done seven minutes so let me just enjoy being here and enjoy this. What is the projects you can work on right now? Um, right now, um, I can do tatting, and um, I've got it's like uh, it's like one of the it's a bead board, so I, um, I can sit in my chair and, and do beading. Ruby does that and talks about bead boards. Yeah, it's kind of, it's, uh, she had done at one time a tutorial on how to make your own. Oh, wow. And I kind of took what she did and um, kind of tweaked it to what I have. Because, you know, I have to work with, I have to work a lot with what I already have. Right. Oh, and, yeah. She gave you yeah. inspiration. Yeah. And I think in hers, you know, she uses a piece of plywood as you know the support and i said well i have i get tendonitis in both of my wrists so um that would be a little heavy for me and so what i ended up using i found a piece of foam board and just doubled up on that and so it's a lot lighter for me but it you know serves its purpose and it's um, stiff enough that it doesn't you know bend and uh, so I'm able to I'm able to do some beating, and while well, I'm you know stuck with my foot up. Thank goodness your husband's there for you. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> yes. Um, so you're asking me why aren't we using canvas? I don't know. I have canvas in the closet, but I grabbed this and that's how I started it. And it was before I made the corset design. Um, the the first one I showed you, why can't I find anything? The first one I showed you, it uh, it's easier than this one, but trust me, guys, because this one we had no cutting. All we did was fold it and glue stuff on it. But you know what? This one is is actually quick and easy. So how see how this will open and look good? All right, let's get some material, and I chose some material already. I used this a couple of years ago, and I got it from Joann's. And so let's get this material and cover this. Um, I can hear Presley uh, crying in the other room. I think he wants to be in here with me. And he's right at the door. <laughs> <laughs> he's afraid to come in, I guess. So can you hear him? I don't know if you can hear him. Uh -huh. yeah, a little bit. He's 18 years old, and he's he's he can only see like two feet in front of him, and he's deaf because uh, oh. he's so old. But 
Yeah. But he's a sweet pea. What kind of... Uh, he's a sheltie. Kind of, oh. He's a little sheltie. So... When my phone um, clicks out on me again, I'll bring him in here. Yeah. Hanging out. I just looked over at one of my dogs, and he's sound asleep, but his little piece, the tip of his tongue, is hanging out of his mouth. Huh. So all I'm doing is gluing this down, and then we'll cut. Uh, we'll cut it. Okay. We'll follow this. And this is when you should be using this right here. And we'll follow this. It is quick and easy. It's just that it seems like I'm always a hot mess. I was on my phone with my mom earlier showing her the samples and she doesn't have a laptop. She only can talk to me face to face on FaceTime by her phone. And I'm like, I, yeah. she needs a, she needs, she doesn't have a camera on her computer. She's got such an old one. And I'm like, I'm going to talk to all the brothers and sister and see if we can upgrade her situation for uh, her birthday. Or maybe I'm going to have to do it. They're going to say, why does she need it? Only for her to talk to you. <laughs> so it might be just on me. <laughs> so I'm going to trim right around this. Right here, guys. I think you're already figuring out my method to my madness here. I'm going to save these little remnants because they'll look cute on something, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. That's a mess. That's going to the floor. Or, no, the trash can's by the floor. Let's see. You could do a tattered shamrock. Um, he is stuck in the bathroom. I had to wash Presley's feet. Because he stepped in mud outside. I don't know how he finds mud. Oh, he found me. <laughs> He's here. I can hear him. Okay, so. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, I see it. Hi, Presley. I have, um, I blocked him so he won't come all the way in. Because even though I use five wipies on his feet. I don't want him to dirty my room. Mm -hmm. So, you see how I open that up? And now let's just glue this side down. And then let's just glue this side down. And it's got netting on it, too. Hi, Presley. How did you make it right here beside me? <laughs> uh, he doesn't hear a thing I'm saying. Okay, guys, so the hard part's over. Now it's all decorating. Well, no, let's do the back. Let's put some material on the back. And we'll make some pockets and everything. And everybody's That's been good. making these with paper. Have you ever seen the, um, the movie Waterworld with Kevin Costner? I have not. I've seen bits and pieces of it. Well, in that show, there's a guy, you know, because they're they live it on water. There's no land there, and uh, there's a guy that says paper, paper, and I swear to God, I think of Karen when <laughs> when, she, oh. when she loves her paper. <laughs> uh <-huh>. So, <Yeah. laughs> and I want to find that video. I'm going to glue this down. I want to find that video and uh, just that part of it. Yeah. <laughs> send it to her. Did you see her last uh, video she did? No, I missed it. And I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I video bombed her. You know, I video bombed Ruby and Robin before. And then now I video. All right, guys. My phone's driving me crazy. 
So let's glue the back. I don't even know what we were talking about. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I video bombed. Um, oh, yeah. Right. Karen. You know, and Johnny's like, what's a video bomb? I said, a photo bomb? Well, I jump in. If I know someone's doing a live video and I can find my way from someone to give me the link and surprise them, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> well, actually, I called Karen um, on FaceTime or something else and she answered. <laughs> but it's just to have fun. It's just to have fun. Yeah. So let's trim this off. This is more intense than I realized. I say it was quick and easy, but I don't know. <laughs> it's doable. Yeah. God, if I can make this, trust me, anybody can make it. I don't know where the mud came from. Oh, it rained last night, all day, yesterday and last night. That's mm. where Presley got into the mud. So and there's... we're fixing to get some weather here. Um, what, what, it, we just what got part of... flood for tomorrow. Wow, what part of uh, uh, the Pacific are you in? What um, state? Southern, well, Southern California, oh. and I'm about two hours north of San Diego. Oh, okay, guys. So, see, there's the little outfit. So, now let's make some pockets. Uh, I found it just easier to make the pockets from the same material that you're working with. So, let's just do that. And I like the pocket to kind of hit right there where her hips are, like it's a person. So let me, because it kind of just coordinates well enough. Poor Presley. He's been sick. He's got a cold. And I didn't know dogs could get colds, but we took him to the vet to spend mm -hmm. the night while we went to Rio Doso for my birthday. And I, and Mm -hmm. They said, or we think he caught a little cold, but nothing to worry about. And I'm like, yeah, but he's 18. I worry about anything. Yeah. Yeah. But they said, don't worry. I'm bringing him back if there's a problem. I, I've never known of a dog to get a cold. None of mine ever have before. But anyway, um, so here's the pocket we're going to make. And what we're going to do is just put it about where we like it and then trim again. Um, the first one, I just used netting in the pocket. And the second one, I like the pocket right here. I liked it being the material. It just uh, was stronger. That netting, I don't know how long that would hold up. So, But this is kind of material and netting all put together. So there you go. I'm glad I pre-did the other part of this step where I sh did the uh, skirt because I always feel so bad taking a long time. I don't mind watching videos and pausing them and and all, or if you fast forward. I think. Okay, so let's trim this up uh -oh. did I tell them already what they're winning uh, I think you started to tell them oh the flare by me $15 gift certificate and you're not going to get Daiso you're getting a $15 gift certificate that I'm going to pay for you to order something by Flair by me. I am a guest design team for her this month. And so I've done it for other companies and I thought I should do it for her. So I am. So that's what you're going to get. 
and you should go check out her store because you know I'm not going to just tell you to go buy from just anyone. It's got to be someone that I think has good prices and all. So, Okay, so we're going to make the pocket in the back. Her hiney is getting a little fat there with all this layering. Let's see. Let's see, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, you already know the answer. But if anyone... Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. Don't tell them. If anyone knows why April 6th is pretty important, I mean, it's not cure-all of anything, but why April 6th, I'm going to have a nice, big giveaway. you got to go figure out what April 6th is. And I'll give you a hint. It's not religious to me. It's not about me and my husband. It's not about my children. But go find out what April 6th is and why I think it's good enough to give a gift. And you're going to be surprised. Um, so here is a pocket. And here's the pocket. Okay, so guys, look. Um, remember how this one has the netting going around? So I already pre-did this one. What I did was I took a piece of elastic... Look here, Sandra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I took a piece of elastic and I cut this at 12 inches. Uh, this is uh, netting um, and I tied it in half. I didn't remember how to do this and I had to ask Hazel. And I'm like, I just did that on the Dreamcatcher. I, okay. And then you loop it in here. I'm going to show you twice. And then we're going to glue it on. You loop it in here. Okay, and tie it on. And you take this. This has got glitter and it's gold. It's so cute. I've got glitter everywhere. I don't like that. I don't like glitter. I'm sorry to tell you, I'm a crafter and I don't like glitter. I do use it if I have to. But, yeah. Um, you're not looking for April 6th. You already know the answer. I think you figured it out first. One, first. <laughs> Let me quit yeah. talking. And no, this. um... <laughs> I'm actually on Flare by Me. I just found the store. <laughs> oh, she's got kits starting at $7, and her most expensive is like $35. And they're really good quality because I've been buying from her for a while, and I'm not going to steer you wrong. You know, I'm, I'm just not going to lie to people. I just, I'm not going to do it. Because my thought is, what if, what if God said you can have three? five or seven lies in your whole lifetime that I'll forgive you and I did number eight because of that one number eight or that one number four I'm going to go to hell no nah, I ain't going to do it <laughs> so <laughs> okay so we tied all these on guys and this netting uh, is not as it's cute once it's there it's not as soft is this but I like it a lot so but I don't like this knot so I turn it the other way I like that way I like that knot better but we're gonna cover that knot up anyway so it doesn't matter so I'm not even gonna change it so let's find the front okay Ooh, I almost made a mistake. This is a big thing I learned last time. We need to put the trim around this before we put that dress on. Because if we don't, we're having to work with all that mess in our way. So let's get a piece of trim. And I have one here. And the reason why I picked this trim is I'll show you on this one. Okay. This is another tip. This right here got pretty wide. The thickness so I took this and I put that bead right down it and then I folded this and you will see here is the lace here here's the beading and then here's the lace so yeah so this is why I chose this trim because hopefully I can put it right down the middle 
and hide it? Or do I need to get a piece of flat? Because that, I could do that. It, it isn't wide enough to me. Let me find a piece of wide flat lace. I know I have some. Let's see. If not, I'm going to stick with what I have. I have white, but that color, I want to use creams. I'm digging in my drawer. You know me. I get nervous about y'all having to wait. Nope. We're just going to stick with what I have. So I'm going to start at the bottom because um, that dress will cover it up. She's got individual pieces and then she's got the kits. But there's a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> and then she puts stuff on sale. So let's put this right down there. And after we get it all the way around, we'll come back and tack those down. Okay. I don't know if you've had a chance yet because it's only been up a day or so, but I just bought Prima flowers from her. Oh my Lord. I did see that. Yeah. Can you believe the prices on that? Wow. That was in her. That was pretty amazing. Yeah, that was in her group, and that was like a flash sale. Um, but then when I went to her mm -hmm. page again, I did see that she had them in her Etsy store too. So we're going around this. You know what I see I should have done and I could have done is put that material inside here too. And I still could take a piece and stick it in there. So, but let's just, um, let me think. If I'm going to do it, I need to do it now. And I'm not worried about it. Um, because it'll be filled up with stuff. But I did that with the blue, the blue one. Just having to glue this right on that edge is particular and hot. Okay, guys. My camera stopped, and I don't know if it even was working, but I'll go over what I did real quick. So I'm adding the last little bit. I put the skirt on, and I'll go back over it, but let me finish this last little bit of trim on top of the skirt. Um, I was going to use another trim, but it, it just wouldn't lay right because it's really fluffy. And I'm wondering if instead of using 20 uh, of these at 12 inches long each, um, because of the gold and it's not as, as uh, soft as the other white netting in the other dress, I um, probably should have used just a little less. But I'm, I'm still happy with it. But on the white one, I used 20. So let me just go cut this here. And I'm just about done. Um, let's put this where it belongs. This is the back. And I always start and finish in the back when I piece things together. So, when you look at it, this is how you look at it. Not from down below. It's kind of thick right here. It's really thick compared to that other one. Um, okay. So what I did was I took trim here, and it came from Hobby Lobby, and I made the difference here. I did cut a small piece and put in here to match. Remember, here's a pocket here and a very deep pocket in here. Here's a front pocket right here. Here's a back pocket. Well, if I take my hand out, I can put my hand in this one. Here's a back pocket. 
And so here's the skirt. I don't really need to trim the skirt. There's glitter everywhere. I don't really need to trim the skirt because um, they're all the same size. There's only like a few pieces. And it doesn't have to be perfect anyway. Okay, so um, so only other thing I wanted to do was add two flowers up here in the corner where um, those tr that trim started and stopped up there at the corner at the collar. So let's just do that. Remember guys, um, I am giving away $15 Glue Gun Chronicle gift this uh, week is for uh, Flare By Me. And so we're going to put a rosette there to hide that. And we're going to hide this rosette. And uh, so go check her store out. I'm on her design team for the month of February. And um, that was nice of her. She gave me an Easter kit, and I'll be altering that next. But I had already been starting this and all. So there's the two flowers. Let's um, remember, if you know what April 6th is important about, then you get a chance to be in a yearly, a year giveaway, one time only probably. So let's go ahead and put... Um, the little cameo right here to bring that up a notch. That's pretty. Let's do the other one. And then I'm going to fill it and show you all of them that I made. Oh, that's cute. So let's move everything out of the way and let's fill this with some goodies. What if you got this inside one of your pockets. Let's hide it back here. Wouldn't that be a nice surprise? There you go. <laughs> That's a nice little gift. Or you could have this inside here as a gift. That's a little big. Let's do this one. See, it's a loaded envelope material. Let's try to put it in that pocket. There's so many pockets. I'm trying to put it in the right pocket. Um, put it in there. I mean, I'm making this for my Glue Gun Chronicles monthly challenge. You have to use a heart felt for this whole month. I mean, that could be stuck in there, but it doesn't match, so I'm not going to. Uh, here's some earrings. You could put in the front little pocket. Um, so, let's see. I don't want to take away. I got to find thinner things to, instead of taking away from that. Let me put that in here. Put that right here. There you go. Well, you can't see it all. I have to repackage this. I'm trying to hurry. I'm sorry, guys. Here I am at the very end and fumbling all over the place. Um, maybe this we could stick in the back pocket instead of the cameo. That would be a cute little gift. So there it is, guys. There's the finished product. Um, try to finish all your inside pieces before you do your outside pieces. Um, let me tell you what I mean. Like right here, put your inside material and the pocket in here. Um, this got really, this kind of netting got really bunched up there, which is fine because you're going to see it straight on and you won't notice it and, and everything. So let's get them all out. Here's the bottom. Here's the pocket. You can see my hand. There's the pocket. It, this is just, it could be a wall hanging if you wanted it. So here's the other loaded envelopes. <coughs> They're so cute. This one is the doll theme. My mom gave me that idea once I got that doll from her. And then this one. Look at this. I found 
these and doesn't it match this perfectly and see how wide open that opens up and you can put a lot of stuff in it so that is so perfect but what I was saying about the netting see the difference see how that is really smushed and, and there's a whole rosette on there it's close and and very um, thin but this one is really bunched but I still love it it's it's two different things it looks different um, I think the pictures will show a better better than what I'm actually showing you now so um, guys all my links are down below I'm gonna put Sandra's links down below since she joined me tonight I'm going to put flare by me links down below since you want to go start shopping there um, their kits are unbelievably really good prices um, I'm glad I found her uh, let's see uh, remember Oct uh, April 6 what does that date mean so if you can figure that out and just write it and tell me what you think it is then I'm gonna enter you I'm not gonna make a video about it I don't think I think you're just gonna have to know to watch my uh, my videos I'm not gonna actually make a video see this is, could even be a wall hanging and put love notes in it I just think that these fabric loaded envelopes I made a video about three or four weeks ago on this one and this one is cute but I and this one has the uh, wedding sleeve applique and makes it look like a, um, a, a button up but these are just so cute 